Good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, how you guys doing? And uh, today I'm gonna make this video. Uh, I want to make this video actually for last two or three weeks, but I was traveling, as you guys know, and um, I just couldn't find a perfect time to do the video. And today I realized there's no perfect time. Um, this is in the tarot card, the energy of um, the three want. There's no perfect time. And to be honest, I have not washed my face yet. I have not brushed my teeth yet because I took my girls to the school and um, sitting on the couch, just thinking, you know, some realization come in. And I, you know, the thing about me is if I want to do something, if I don't do it, it will keep coming back over and over and over and over until I do it. <laughs> then I, then the feeling will, so I, I, I will be in peace because I know I meant to do that. And I know that when people ask me questions, it's so hard for me to get back to them. So this video is, uh, will be a Q and A for, uh, the questions that I collected through uh, my videos on YouTube channel. And so many of you ask different kind of questions. So I try to kind of like uh, sort them out and to answer the question. Uh, some questions I really do not have answer because I just don't. Everybody's experience is so different. And if you ask me the step from beginning to the end, third eye opening, there's no step to follow. Okay, so I just want to be clear. This video is my, let's talk about this like disclaimer, right? Uh, uh, um, this video is my own personal perspective, uh, my experience, my understanding. This doesn't represent other people's experience. So if you are watching this video, I want you to be mindful. This is my understanding of how third eye works. And uh, through, uh, it, it, it incorporates uh, uh, my own third eye opening experience um, that personally, I do not believe that you, not say do not believe, but I am still in the stage, different stage of opening my third eye. And I want to talk about a little bit what does it really mean about third eye opening? Why people want to open their third eye? You better be ready if you want to have your third eye opening because it's not just a rainbow and sunshine. Of course, there's a lot of rainbow and sunshine. You have a lot of clarity, but it's not just all about that. That's more than that. Rainbow and sunshine means also shadow and thunder and a, and a storm, okay? So if you ask one thing, you know that you don't get just one thing, you get two. That's how it works. You have a bonus. You like or not, you just have two. You don't have, you don't have, you have, you have two. So first of all, this is my own experience, my my perspective. And uh, I love you guys ask questions so I can get back to you guys. Um, so this is number one. And then number two, Number two is trust where you at is where you need to be, where you meant to be. I always say, if you are here, you're not supposed to be somewhere else. If you're, you realize, or you know, you tried everything, your third eye is not opening. Maybe it's not right time yet. Because if it's the right time, you, you don't need to really force it. It will, you, you will something just gonna hit you. Now the difference is between that you say that I try everything, doesn't work. But what is your goal? What is your definition of third eye opening? So the, again, through those videos, I won't give you very detailed uh, like because I do not know your experience. I cannot simply answer your question is, if I tried everything, why my third eye is still not opening? What if it's already open? What if, it's just your perspective need a shift. So if like those, I would invite you to connect with me so I can know where you're at instead of just, I tried everything, nothing works. This is a, such a, a a general statement that uh, that could be mean so many things underneath, okay? So let's dive right in because it's already five minutes. I didn't even have to start, really start talking uh, since yet. Now, first thing, 
is your intention. What is your intention of opening your third eye? And before the intention, I want to kind of bring the question is like, are you really open? Are you really ready to open your third eye? And what does that mean to have your third eye opening? Okay, I think this is very important. So before you really like, I want a third eye opening. I want to tell you what does it really mean from my perspective is third eye opening. Are you ready or not? That's your choice. That's why maybe sometimes things didn't happen is because you think your conscious is ready, but your subconscious is like, hey, 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 we have so many steps to 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 go before you get to that place because if you have not go out to know what it feels like standing in the rain, I I have I would say you're probably not ready to stand stand in the storm. Because the rainbow and the sunshine come after rain, right? Heavy rain and sometimes storm. So that's the third eye opening. You want this blissful feeling. You want warm, fuzzy feeling. You want to have this clear perspective, clarity. You need to go through the mud, go through the rain, go through storms. Then you reach to the sunshine, rainbow, and uh, clarity, okay? So now third eye opening. When people going through third eye opening, their life will be upside down, inside out. Things definitely going to shake the core, change. Now some people, they are gradually change. They might change their career first. They might change their relationship first. They might change their uh this abundance money like material thing. You know whatever things gonna start first. Now some people everything just happen all in one. So what? How do you feel that you change your job? I'm not saying because when you change your job. It's not like they will warn you. Say, hey, we are gonna change your job right now, change your career now. It might gonna come as a tower moment. Suddenly, you got fired. So when you got fired, if you are not aware why you get fired, you might get into this uh, stress, frustration, depressed, anger, unfair, like all those things because you don't understand it. Of course, that's the feeling, right? Like what you get fired. Of course, you're gonna get angry. Your relationship will fall apart. People leave you. I say people leave you. It would be your perspective to think people leave you. Then you're going to be sad. You're going to feel you are unworthy of love. You feel like, you know, people leave me. You have this abandonment issue. Okay? And then, and then uh, like, what if that the things that business you 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 are building is suddenly it doesn't work because universe one cause correct you to change you to different direction but if you do not know what's going on you're like wow what what, what did i do wrong am i not good, good enough why this thing doesn't work did you see what i'm saying when your life has tower moment things all of a sudden just shifted those could have because of your third eye opening and that your higher self is course correcting you to the path that you meant to be on but you're not aware so are you ready for those changes you know or if you are going through those changes don't freak out it's things happen for a reason but for the people asking how to open the third eye you know uh, i want my third eye open and you know and uh, tell me the step by step things i really want to tell you I can tell you my experience, which is a video I made a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. That's 30 minutes video. You can you can go check into my personal experience, how I open my third eye and at each stage what happened to my life. <laughs> so you get a idea of what is going to happen. I went through all relationship wise, career wise, you know, money situation, relationship, uh, my view of uh, everything like I literally went inside out, upside down. I'm still still going, still going, okay? But that it doesn't get that intense that much, you know? Like, the first two years is really intense. So, are you ready for third eye opening? And uh, if you're ready, be mindful. It will get you to the place that you have, you know, in my life right now, that your perspective is so... Because you have different perspective, you have more clarity. You like thin air, like it, a lot of things can move through you so easy. You don't get stuck. You don't get this uh, triggered as much as you, as you used to. Is because you are learning to 
expand your perspective, you accept more, you have more clarity, you understand more. So when you understand things more, you don't blame yourself, you don't blame other people, you don't to get too hard on yourself because you know you are doing your best. Okay? So question number one, are you ready to have third eye opening? And when you really mean it is your opening, which means you are ready to go in to do those hard work, those deep work. So going through this uh, hard, uh, this dark tunnel that not knowing where you're going to come out. You're going to come out, but you just don't know when and where, how, okay? Um, so this is the first one. The second one, your intention. What's your intention to open your third eye? You know, third eye has just three different major of uh to my understanding sometimes on a person the eye is they want to live longer the longevity uh, you really you know you can you can train your body become harder you know you can live lo live longer stop kind of um uh delays the uh, aging process as well okay now number two is you just you do you do not care what it is going on around you just in blissfully happiness if you want that you can do that too now third one is basically i think what i'm going through and what i think i'm i want to experience in my life is expanding my perspective i can i can hold more things can go through me more i become lighter i become happier freer you know see things clear that's i don't want to escape anything of anything i just want to be live my human body um have better perspective which means i have a bigger container to hold more you know so it doesn't matter what's going on in life good or bad or hard or whatsoever the way it is the way it is i want to live in peace contentment to understand more of things learn more things to expand myself okay so those are three what is your intention okay and you can trust yourself that Third eye opening is power. This is psychic antenna and that connects this higher realm. And your higher self knows what's the best for you. So if your human mind is have the interpretation of this and this, this, that, you might not gonna open it. Because your higher self knows that if this thing open, if you're not ready for it, you will gonna take you to different realm, different, different uh, experience that you are in this life that you are not meant to embark on that path. Does that make sense? Because your higher self is the one behind the theme to direct you to go. You think every day of your life, you just go wherever. Yes, you have free will to choose the range of the things. It expanded by the general thing, general theme of this life, I believe, general tone. It's like the sun, the general tone is the happy, sad. My general tone of this lifetime is learn love and compassion. General tone of this life is I want to learn forgiveness. General tone of my life is I want to explore more. That, do you see also? But how to explore more, how to have more adventure is different thing. Okay, so but general tone of this life path, you already have a general tone of that. It's so hard you can shift the whole tone of that. It's just, uh, you know, you might learn those lessons then you move on to after that i was like well i want to welcome more show me more your higher self definitely because we always can shift every single moment but general tone of that if you do not learn that part you will not go to different you don't need to have add on if you do not pass this life experience does that make sense so your intention i hope for your intention is the third one that's why you know Probably my experience will gonna help you for the third intention, okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Now question, I really get to the question. I'm so I'm so sorry, it's like take me for 15 minutes to, because it's really important. It's, I don't say that lightly because it is very important and everybody wants that third eye open and I, I, I want to help you guys, okay? So now back to the step of real question. Gina, tell me from beginning to end, the so step by step, tell me how to open your third eye. I wish I have the answer for you. I wish I know the step by step. Even though I have my step by step, it's still not going to be your step by step. Why? Because everybody is on the different stage of their life. 
our psychic ability is different. Everybody have, we could have all, but we have different psychic ability. You know, I'm my, I'm, I'm clear sentence. I feeling, I feel it all. You know, people are clairvoyance. You, so you can see it. You, you, you are, you see the image. You see the color. I see the color. I don't see image yet. Sometimes image will come, but it's not like you. Usually, I feel it first. Then I, I feel like I, I, I see it, but I don't really see imagery things. Okay, I, I see colors. I have feeling. Feeling help me to have image. Okay, so. I do not have step by step. However, I do want to offer in another video of the certain meditation, certain practice can help you to check in where you're at, and you know, uh, and you give me the feedback. I can guide you more, but more uh, one on one. I just, I don't have a general. I I step is the step number one. You know, you 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 sit down. Step number two, whatsoever. I I do not. I do not. Um, and if you want to, um. Reach out to me personally to tell me where you're at. I might gonna point on to certain places to support you. Depends on where you're at. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry at all. Um, the another question is how to not to close the third eye. You, when you third eye opening, you cannot close it. Like you, it it, it just doesn't work. Okay, so but let me go a little bit deeper. So the answer to this question is you it once you start opening, you are already on the path. It's like you already born. You cannot be unborn. Right? Born and unborn. They are two different ways. So if you are born, you will not be able to unborn. If you are started already start process, you cannot back to close it. You already open it. When it's open, it means not closed, right? Now, however, I think people ask this question is because they feel like that the, the this like momentum they don't feel it like oh I just this stage like I I I sense some air moving whatever then nothing happened after that it's like is this my third eye closed if you are this situation I want to tell you no it's it's not your third eye closed it's it's like my understanding is the. The third eye opening is according to where is your body is at, how much light you can hold. It's like the is this container you need to open gradually and in its own timeline. Sometimes people go very fast, you know. Like, but but when I look back, my two last two or three years, it's it's taking. Now when I look back, the last whole two three years, I'm gradually opening, and sometimes I was like. Yeah, I feel air. Then I don't feel anything else until like three months later. I have other things coming, coming in. You know, some weird uh, things I don't even understand. And was oh, when I don't understand, I don't understand. But when I out of that stage of oh, okay, this is another stage of the 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 consciousness awareness. You know, when you third eye opening, it's also your perspective, your awareness, your consciousness be lifted. Okay, so do not just fixate it on the third eye, third eye position yourself. The third eye opening is a full body activation to me. Okay, not the full body, full energetic field, your light body activation, whatever, however you call it. It's not just a body, a certain parts of body. It's your whole and all. The things you can see, the things you cannot see, they all in one are in a process of expanding, opening. And receiving more of the information in the process, and also when after you process, you have another wave, another wave, and another wave. Constantly, constantly, constantly. That's why it's never ending. I have no idea what my stage would be because I, I, I have no idea, and I, I believe I just know it is have what we have, different level of consciousness. As long as I'm living here, which means I always have this uh, capacity to level up, and I do not know where's the limit because. That's just how it works. Like there's no limitation. It depends on how, how deeper, strong willingness you're willing to go. And always you can go higher, higher, or deeper, deeper. Depends on, you know, where you want to go. So, just let you know. Once you start opening, even things are not moving. It's because things are happening in the energetic field before you can have physically manifested in your physical body feel yet. It's the uh, the energy is already moving, shifting, uh, like receiving information, 
and depends on how you receive information you might feel sensory you might see it it will come into your physical sensation but just because your physical physical sensation does not uh, like receive the signal yet doesn't mean it's not moving it's always constant moving so answer is you you cannot after you open you cannot close it uh next questions like the eating habits you know do you need to you know change the eating habits you know if i my third eye opening should i stop eating this or stop eating that my answer from my heart i would not say that the food doesn't matter when you at the early stage of third eye opening especially you are understanding what's going to happen uh, when third eye opening uh, your intention, you know, you have a pure intention, you know, and then I was like, okay, Gina, what should I do, you know, to start with? Then I was like, okay, now your water, your toothpaste, your product to use on your body and hair, because our skin is a living. They are, you don't see them moving, but they are moving, right? Our hair growing, that they, they, they are breathing. That's why that if you really want to go to Nick, this this eat. Each one, everything you do, everything you put on your body, put on your face, take in your body, everything matters. Air, food, water, clothing, everything matters. Everything can help you. But does that, uh, you know, how much the percentage of uh, taking to, you know, if let's say a hundred, how much those things, the food, you know, water, whatever, it could be take to 90% at the early stage because you just might need a little bit Detox, little bit things you use clear, taking some food out of your diet, it might gonna help you to open your third eye. Okay. If your question is like why things are not moving. So I will look into your you know, drinking alcohol. I will talk about that. It's not say you're drinking alcohol, you're not gonna open your third eye. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying certain things if you want to get your body clear, be prepare your vessel. Coffee, alcohol. To me, okay, uh, you know, smoking cigarettes, that stuff doesn't really help because you are poisoning your lung, right? Uh, water, what kind of water you drink, you know? Uh, filtered water, spring water, uh, you just pay attention to your water quality, okay? You, you know, I'm not saying you drink pop soda and you're not so eye opening. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just like, how to prepare your vessel, be ready for that? How can we keep our body clean? Then I would at early stage I would try to avoid avoid that, and also people will talk about the garlic, ginger, this strong sense of things. Try to have light diet, um, you know, veggie fruit. Definitely, I talk about in other video. Light food, veggie fruit, um, the veggie even from your garden, your like local market it helps. Uh, water. And as the things you consume, the news, you know, the, the, the lower dense energy, you know, uh, keep your mood at a more constant state and meditating. The so clothing you put on, you know, cotton one, you know, that, that, that more like breathable and a hair product. I check your hair product, what certain chemical contain. Of course, your hair is living, it's absorbing, right? Facial product, uh, shampoo, conditioner. Oh, I'm just like, you can do so much to be living in a way of, of simple, clean, less oil, oily stuff food wise. So you can do all of that. Now I want to set straight. It's not all about that, but you could make it all about that. A lot of people are gonna tell you, so that open, you have to do this, this, this. I don't tell you, you have to. But if you are, just watch this video, watch my other video, it's like you are interested, you want to open your third eye and you're looking into your life, it's like what I can make changes to prepare my body to be ready, you can do that. But if you are already on the, on the process, early stage, let's say you already, feel intensity, you already realize things are shifting in your life, relationship fall apart, this and that, your career change whatsoever, you are already on, on it. Those things still can help you. But you, once you kick off, you know, it's great to keep your vessel uh, like clear, you know, I, still, I don't really, I'm like, I will call myself, I only drink when I'm happy celebrating. So I, it's not I don't drink. I don't smoke cigarettes. 
uh, do I take a little bit of cannabis sometime? I eat it because I, I don't know how to s smoke. Um, my water, I haven't changed my water the way I drink water for so long, you know, and a toothpaste, I, 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 I didn't change it. My hair product things I not really pay much attention to of that, you know, like I just, I know the product I, I use for a long time, so I just use that. But what am I saying is the more aware of those things that you're going to help you, but now like where I'm at right now, I'm not saying I'm far away than where people's at. I'm just saying I realize that, you know, it, 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 uh, of course, if I drink a lot of alcohol, it, it's going to hurt your body, right? You, your mind going to be not going to be very connected with your body anyway. So it doesn't really help. But I'm saying is, um, to me right now and my life now, I can drink whenever I want to drink with good intention. I bubble my drinks. I blast my drinks. I don't just go, you know, party out and just do that. It's not, it's never going to be because that's also when your third eye opening, you will not allow yourself to do that because just because. <laughs> so no, see, I, I don't want to say just because it's because that you know how to take good care of your body and you have this internal guidance of how to take care of your body. You will not go let yourself go that far away. And I don't need to go that far away, right? I want to have a glass of wine end of the night. There's nothing wrong with that. So uh, it's not like, oh, if I want third eye opening, I have to cut everything out. No. Or if I eat this, my third eye going to close. No, of course not. So, but you will notice your diet will change. Certain food you use to create, to create, to have this big craving. Later, you're just like, uh, not really, like meat. You know, I'm not a big meat, meat, meat eater anyway, but like pork, definitely not going to touch it. Low frequency, you know, things that I, if, if the pig, people raising their own backyard, I probably, but a lot of food, meat industry is like, you have no idea. And uh, my body will know when I go to, you know, the meat session, I walk around, I was like, my stomach is start rolling. Like they no 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 you you want to stay away no it's no judgment it's just like you have this psych psych ability you are turning into the frequency because meat is also the frequency now certain meat you're like okay you want this piece of salmon you know and then there's meat there you're like no 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 just step away with that you cannot even force yourself to go eat it you just trust it you don't everything gonna just go with with flow if you feel like you have to force yourself to not eat that thing i would just suggest you go eat that thing okay <laughs> because your body is craving so if you not pay attention to your body's craving just try to you know say no when your body is want it and it's 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 not gonna help because it already have the energy it's just like go go the go to a different way already okay so, uh, but be mindful as beginning, you do want to kind of like pay attention to certain meat, certain food, your clothing, your, all the products and that, like that. But later, you already established a certain thing. Drink a glass of wine or two, uh, eat garlic, eat a piece of steak, you know, um, it, it, it doesn't really, really, you know, once your door is open like that, it doesn't really easier to close, but it will destroy your frequency if you drink too much, you know, alcohol, right, things like that. So that's my answer for that one. Um, people talking about the way they feel dizzy, you know, why I feel dizzy, you know, start opening, you know, because my understanding again, sometime out of the day when I'm driving, I suddenly feel just so heavy on my third eye and I'm like, my crown, my back of my third eye, you know, chalk right right here. It gets so intense. And I feel like I'm not like this, like, um, you could say dizzy, but I think it's the dizziness you're talking about is not the same dizziness as, as I'm describing. But I want to let you know is if you, the dizziness you are describing is like the, that's a lot of energy is on your crown and third eye. And they need to be grounded. They need to be draw the, the, the energy from your top two, three chakra goes all the way down to your root chakra, go all the way down to core of Mother Gaia. You need to direct this energy. The energy need to move. Now, when certain early stage, when you have heart, heart rate goes super fast, have this like, you feel like you're going to have heart attack, like even heart uh, this pressure in our heart center, 
or you have this like stomach, not say hurting, but this soreness or, you know, solar plexus, you feel like a little bit, you know, not saying you're going to purge, but you can feeling it's just like somehow it's discomfort. It's because a lot of time they are going through each of chakra aligning. The, in the process of aligning, the so physical symptom is going to happening. And uh, the, the, the best way, I do not have the best way, but I do have certain certain way of that now I went through. I went through a couple months and I saw I have a heart problem. I was like, I'm going to have a heart failure or sometime I'm going to die. <laughs> I guess I didn't understand it. But now when I look back, it's, oh, it was uh, the energy directing down to my heart center. It's opening my heart center. <laughs> so certain medita meditation, heart chakra meditation, you know, solar plex meditation is definitely help. But what I just want to explain why it's like, you got to have the energy directly down, you know, up and down, up and down. Just, you know, we talk about Taurus, right? This the energy was like, you um, draw the energy from bottom of your feet, go the up from your crown, go open, come back down. So inhale, draw the thing, you know, up, exhale, push the energy out. So you want to make your channel keep opening, keep opening, okay? And also, like my heart, because my crown and third eyes is super wide because they are open, 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 open. And my heart, because of the past experience, my heart might close off a little bit because the heartbreaking, don't feel safe, you know, sadness, grief, will make, you know, your heart like this. So at the top is this, bottom like this, 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 this. Of course, you're going to have some discomfort at certain chakra, certain body parts is because the energy instead of like this, you're like, whoops, right? Does it make sense? So... If you feel dizzy, like meditating, draw the energy, pull down, create this energy circle, okay? So hope that helps. And this question is like why I feel strong pressure on the top of my head and, uh, um, you know, and third eye point, I just actually, I just mentioned that. Is that because you are receiving your psychic antenna, you are receiving information, even though you don't see it, don't feel it, don't understand, doesn't mean it's not doing the thing. It's always doing the thing. Now, why you start feeling right now is now you are opening your, like the part I'm talking about from invisible to visible, invisible energy to manifest your body started picking up feeling it, but you do not understand it because you may, nobody told you about it. Nobody teach us about that. So you don't understand why I suddenly have this pressure on my crown, on my forehead is because they are receiving the information. Okay. And what kind of information sometimes, you know, uh, besides moving energy, you can ask ask what what's what what do you want to tell me and uh, show me through the symbol sign whatever the way you want to communicate with your guide spirit that that that's the different video i may I, maybe i can talk about it in another video um in the future uh but let me see is there any things that i want to talk about oh i think uh why third eye started opening why more and more people third eye start opening? You are aware or not aware? In a, a lot of people in their unaware unaware situation, their third eye opening. When they aware that third eye opening, they already in the process for a period of time, and they said, "Oh, that was third eye opening." But I want to talk about why third eye started opening. <sighs> this is could be a very long version of explanation or a short version of of, uh, of the. You know, I can probably use one sentence to summarize that, but I want, let's see how, how detailed I want to go or how detailed they want me to go. So, like basically, we are stepping into different age, right? We talk about, uh, you know, uh, this uh, big shifting that's occurring right now, and the energy has been really different uh, if you look back your life in the last three, four years, you now people start to question things. People start to see the things from different angles. And people always are, but it, it took a little bit a verge to impact. You know, you, if you want to impact the world, you'd better start from your own, own village, own city, own state. Then you, you know, people know, oh, this city, this place are doing this create a wave and let's do something that as they can they are doing 
So we have a lot of wayshare already doing their inner work to lift the awareness consciousness and help us to see the things from different perspective, help us to question the things what's going on instead of always follow, you know, what you say is right, I'm going to follow you. Instead of it's like, why you say that? Tell me a little bit more. It's more of a training us to be a sovereign being, to really understand when you have your own power, which is your choice, right? Those things. So a lot of movement in the last couple of years and um, people start to understand that things on different level. And uh, um, we are at this stage of this life is a lot of people, more and more people are ready to see what's really going on through their own perspective. You know, no judgment of this and that. Everybody's perspective is unique. So you are probably feel called to experience the life deeper and use your own perspective to expand your life experience and uh, lift this uh, awareness and consciousness, help the collective to move into a different state of the living, you know, instead of, uh, you know, controlling, manipulative, you know, um, you nine to five day job, you have to be this way, you have to go to the best college, you have to be uh, married at a certain age, you have to uh, have kids, you, 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 ha you have to be straight, you have to be monogamous, you have to this, you have to that, no, we don't have to. We have different choices to do. And uh, the energy is ready because more and more people, so you are in the wave, miss a wave. You think about it, if you are on the spider web, even though you are very like outside of, like you are on the edge of the spider web, but once the, the, the web is activated, which means all the dots is connected or activated, one thing hit on the web, the whole thing gonna shake, right? So you are in the wave of collective awakening, which means collective understanding, um, you know, more and more our conscious level is being lifted. Our perspective is shifted. That's, so you are in the shift as well. So you might feel called to also follow the, follow the current because think about it, if, if a stream of the water, you remove that rock, a, because you are part of the stream, part of this water body, you are just going to go. <laughs> you cannot stop yourself because you are on a collective trend of the uh, this energy consciousness. You think you are separate, but you never separate. It's just physical body-wise, you feel separate, but energetically, you always always connected. So you are in a stream of consciousness that they are ready to move forward. You are feel called to move forward. So you you got to go. You got to go. So the more you don't want to go, the, you more, the resistance, the suffering you're going to have. If you are suffering a lot of things that are why things doesn't happen my way, this way, this way, is because you try to fight against of the mainstream current, which is go to this direction, and you try to go different direction, okay? So you are being impacted to live the life in a different way, in a more depth, meaningful, whatever you want to like describe that. And energy is ready, so uh, you are ready to your higher self is calling you your soul is calling you uh because other people are doing that so you are in the streams of the consciousness so you feel called to ask more questions to ask why ask where's what is my purpose what i can do what is my soul frequency what's the unique part of my vibration so that's why you probably are here watching this video right now or uh, my that's the reason why you got uh watch my first video or however you got to this video. Um, so I just want to let you know, I, I, I can talk more of things. I feel like I can talk about third eye things for hours, 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 because it's just so deep and everything is connected. Nothing is separate. And uh, But this video is already like 30, almost 40 minutes. So hope this video helps. And um, let me know, you know, uh, any feedback, comments, uh, what's your experience? any questions that you want to ask that you want me to answer. Um, and feel free to connect me on Instagram called Goddess Intention. And uh, on the uh, Facebook page, you can find me called Inner Sensory Healing. Inner, I-N-N-E-R, Inner Sensory Healing. And I also link will be, I will usually put the description box. And um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Because the reason, you know, the, the, the power of sharing is once you get it, how come we not share? You know, if you feel that resonates with you, if you feel that this information is going to help other people, matter of fact, just, just share it. Uh, and it's probably going to solve 
help people to save a lot of time as a confusion and do not just uh, this this not knowing what to do type of thing you know i wish years ago i could be guided a leader that so i probably feel with more content instead of feel like my heart gonna burst and i'm gonna die <laughs> and uh, but i'm here so that's also the reason why i have this channel to share the realization downloads because i know you're probably gonna save other people that's called a wish roll, right like what's the point of people go first people go first is because then they can come back give a hand and say hey let me let me you know if you want to go that way i know exactly how you get there instead of you zigzag zigzag take three years get and you, you know i let's walk together three months later you will be there okay and you maybe you can use that save that two years and uh, nine months to do something serve the people serve your medicine okay so there's nothing you know oh you you be need to be thank me or whatever you don't need to thank me it's just uh we are here to lift each other. The more people step into their powers, the more people step in service, the more people serve their medicine. We all collectively, we're going to sooner to step into a different way of living. We are already. People are already showing the different way of living. It's just, let's just uh, play. See how, how, you know, how we can play work as a team and uh, where we can go before this human body going to have expiration, expire, expiration date. When this human body is going to check out, which means I'm going to move on to different body or different dimension, wherever it is. But when I'm in this body, I want to see how far away we can go, you know, um, what kind of game we can play in a good way. Not the game game, but it's the, the, the human, this played for human experience game. So hope this video helps. And uh, yeah, just let me know. Okay. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day.